That was good. That is very good. That is very good. Well, what's going on guys? It is JJ here back with another footballing reaction video and today we're going to be taking a look at the star Ajax midfielder, the future Barcelona midfielder after this summer. It is Frankie De Jong's 2019 perfect midfielder heights. Uh, of course, they're going up against Real Madrid today. They're down 1-2 on aggregate heading to the Bernabeu. However, Real Madrid have lost three in a row. I think I think Frankie De Jong, he's, he's going to be the most pivotal part of that team if they're gonna come back as well him like King Zayek this this IX team I really enjoy watching them it's gonna be a shame when they get broken apart get sent off to different parts of Europe but it's been an absolute pleasure watching them and he's been a big part of that so without further ado let's take a look at Frankie De Jong's 2019 perfect midfielder highlights as well guys you can find the original video down in the description below <laughs> it's, it's a really close dribbler. He's a very close dribbler. A powerful runner, too. I, he remind, he does remind me a lot of Rakitic. That that's it's plain and simple. Him and Ivan Rakitic have just about the same game. Good tackle. And then pushing it right up the field. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Just the, the, the shuffle of the feet with that. That was so good. That's too good. Cut in. As well, playing from the back. Wow. I, does he does he play more in a deep line playmaker role? I'm not 100% sure. I know Ajax switched their formations a lot from a three in the back to a four in the back. Uh, but I know I know he can, I know he's very good at shuffling the ball into attack and making bullet passes like that. That's perfect. Oh, the outside of the foot. The outside of the foot on that one was... That's, that's cold. That's cold. It just makes it look so simple. And that's what you want, right? That's what you want in the midfielder. Someone that makes it look really simple. Good wow, uh, a great goal. Bo the, the, the boost, the little boosty of speed. Oh, <laughs> that is good. That is very good. That is very good. Uh, that that was. It's just it's moves like that that make you reminisce on like Zidane. Like that's Zidane-esque right there. And the physicality to stay upright. I wonder how often he gets dispossessed. I need I need to do more research to see how often maybe he, he gets dispossessed in midfield because he looks like he just he just walks around everyone. It is so physical. He's so physical. With a great touch. Oh, he dispossessed a little Angola. Gets chopped around. 
He's a baller. He, yeah, 100% a baller. That is it, guys. Um, well, he's going to be so good at Barcelona. Him and Rakitic and Arthur in the midfield. I know, obviously, Busquets will still be around, but they're going to be so. Hopefully, though, hopefully, they can, you know, find their way past Real Madrid uh, in the Champions League. So maybe we can see more of him at the highest level of football rather than, you know, just him versus Feyenoord in, in the Dutch Eredivisie. Uh, but let me know you guys' thoughts on Frankie de Jong's move to Barcelona. Will he be the next Rakitic? Will he be the next star midfielder for Barcelona? He, he seems like he has all the qualities to do it. I mean, he's a strong midfielder. He's got great feet. He's very physical. It's, it'll be good to see. But let me know you guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and peace.